now from the home of the Rays, Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. Today, a matchup of AL East rivals between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. It's going to be a premier pitching matchup. Two of the league's hardest throwers go head-to-head -head next. Yanni Chirinos, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, we're looking at a real solid starting pitcher right here. You take a look at that ERA, anywhere between three and a half and four, but I'll tell you what he does know how to do. He knows how to get people out, and he can minimize the damage. He knows how to control the running Leading game. The he does a lot Yankees. of things right, and if he the does all base. those things, expect yeah. a real solid performance in this one. And guys, the Rays, as they begin play here this afternoon, they were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Yeah, Matty, they lost last game only by one run. Those are the tough ones. But I'm sure they've looked at the film, made a few adjustments, and let's see if they can give a better effort today. The one-two. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. A ah, nice piece of hitting right there. When you're that facing a young blood on the, the mound, young set. starting pitcher, you want to get him into the stretch as quick as possible. You want to see how he handles the moment, see if maybe you can run on him. A lot of things going to open up with this next at bat. Stepping into the box, Miguel Andujar. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely a pitcher's umpire. I, I always felt like this. He's He'll give a little bit on the corners, both inside and outside. I think he's a fair umpire, but I would rate him more as a pitcher's umpire than a hitter's umpire. You know, Kiro, as a pitcher, that could be so frustrating. You're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches, and that was a really good pitch. And I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter's smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take him when you can get him. And he takes strike two. LeMahieu at second and Duhar on at first with nobody out. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. And he is in there. With that, here's a look at the Yankees' starting lineup. d daytime road game for him. What you got? Yeah, Matty, without question right here, this lineup's been struggling. Some bad approaches at the plate from top to bottom. They need the first two guys in the order to ignite this offense if they're going to have a chance of breaking out of this malaise. Giancarlo Stanton now, and their runners at the corners now. First pitch on its way. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. One there on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Your basic 6-4-3 will get him out of danger. Bottom of the first straight ahead, we are scoreless on the show. Domingo Herman, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, in a day and age where runs are scored at an alarming rate, this guy's been pretty rock solid. Last three starts, ERA under 2.00. Not an easy thing to do, and you'll know if he's on early. If he's good and on point in the first inning, that usually means he's going to be rock solid throughout the rest of the game. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. No nope. first pitch ball. is a breaking ball taken down and away for ball one. 
Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Yeah, Matty V, and you know what, D-Row, now I guess it's time where you push that go button. You're getting a little sense of urgency. They find themselves in third place, and if they want to be part of the postseason picture, it's time to get going and get going pronto. Yeah, it's taken too long for this team to carve out any identity for themselves. They're going to have to find a way to get on a roll offensively or pitch better something's got to change and he tried to hold up that time we'll get an appeal down to third and no swing it's ball three the three one and he takes ball four so the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game Man, the pitcher's wondering Batting how second. he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 yeah, count. The ump thought it was just Here a tad off are. the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that, though. Here's the first pitch to him. Here I A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. Now you could tell right there that curveball had some serious depth to it. That's what separates the good ones from the bad ones. That nasty spin rate. Get that downward action. You even get a star player like this swinging at something in the dirt. And with that, a look at the Rays lineup card in this one. That stands out to you, Danny. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to watch Kevin Kiermeyer. I was talking about him earlier with some people. I kept telling them he's got some really good speed. If you watch him in this game, he's the type of guy, he's not going to shock you with his speed, but he can make an impact with his legs. We'll see if he gets that chance. Coming to the plate now, Tommy Pham. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. And a good oh, idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top. But he was able to lay off it. Uh, ball and two strikes now. I just think after seeing both those pitches right there, 96, you have to be on the fastball or you're not going to catch up. If you're sitting off speed, that fastball is going to blow right by you. Two and two the count. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. is swung on and missed strike three. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's Batic his fourth fourth. strikeout the in this series here. alone. Up there. Let go. So a runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A ball and no strikes. Wendell leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Meadows swings the bat and throws from the left side and stands in at six foot three. Is usually a right fielder, but he's playing in left field today. This one's down to third. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And a good effort here, but he's well safe at first. And there are two on and two out now. That is good. The right field. Of the so it's first and second with two men gone. And that'll bring up Abisayu Garcia. From the stretch. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Two men are on with two men out. And it's 0-2 to Avisail Garcia. Ready on 0-2. Good waste pitch, 1-2. and two. 
great arm action on that two strike change up right there but even better job at the plate to take that one. A one two pitch hit sharply toward the right side and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Rays strand a pair still no score. Settling in now, Torres, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. First pitch of the at-bat. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Well, fans of good pitching are in for a treat today. What can we expect from today's matchup, guys? I know everyone loves the long ball, Matty, but this is why I pay the price of a ticket right here. Two of the game's best, two of the hardest throwers competing at the top of their game. Dan, you have to love this stuff. You know, D-Row, we thought coming into this one it was going to be a low-scoring affair. Both of these pitchers look like they're locked in early, and runs are going to be really difficult to come by. They that both look like they're on point so far. Gary. All right, let's take a look at the Tampa Bay Rays on defense. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Digging in now for the Yankees, Gary Sanchez. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And, one. and he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. No score here as we play inning number two. The 0 2 once more. And another foul ball. The 0-2 once more is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. So the two-out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Got it. You know, D-Roll, the, the old base. school thinking sometimes Nothing. is when you're going through a bad streak Bro. like this guy, any way you can get on a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk to home plate. You're scuffling so bad. Here's Justin Smoke now. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So it's a two-run shot to right center. 19th home run for him on the season. And this is now a 2 to nothing lead for the Yankees. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues. But when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. That a really bad result. A better fielder. Stepping Aaron. in, Aaron Hicks. Yeah. And the home away splits Here tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Line drive base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking oh, too right out of the box. The Smashed base. it down the line, and DJ. that was some great hustle Lame. to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double.
Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. Runner in scoring position with two gone. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Hicks at second with two down. Grounded back up the middle. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Boy, you know, Dero, every pitcher loves that. Shortstop does a great now, job just to knock that baseman. ball down to keep it from the outfield to keep that runner from ball. advancing all the way to home. Yeah, and, and as a former middle infielder, Dan, we, we love this stuff. This is what gets you jacked up, trying to save runs for your pitcher, give you another chance to execute and get us out of this inning. Here's a slider to start things out, but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. Slap hard the opposite way, but a little unlucky there as it's hit right to him in right field for the final out of the inning. The Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 2 0 New York. G Man Choi, the next to hit. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. One ball, no strikes to count. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Choi. A six foot one inch left handed hitter but throws right handed. He was taken in the second round back in the 2015 MLB draft. Yeah he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level but you know what they didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has nice pick three and one. And a full count now, three and two. And here's the three two from him. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. All right, here's how the Bronx Bombers are going to set up defensively today. And guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively moving guys around and shifting as much as they can. Stepping into the box Daniel Robertson. First pitch of the at bat. Now a curveball to start him out but an easy take it's ball one. Fly ball heading for the alley after it is Hicks. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Hey guys, he doubled up on that breaking ball. The batter obviously timed the first one. Second one, he was not going to let go. Good wood on that one, able to drive it for a base hit. Up next for the Rays, Brandon Lowe. And there you see his righty lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. First delivery to him on the way. And that's in there for a strike. One out and a runner on second base. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat, but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Up with it, Sanchez. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Good pitch there, and that was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the plate first after the ball hit the dirt. Here now is Mike Zanino. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Robertson stands at second with two gone. In tight, awfully tight, 2-0 now. Zanino, the former Seattle Mariner, he was acquired via trade last year. 
Yeah, this guy's fully settled in with this ball club right now. Nope. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number two for him on the year as the Rays have come back to tie things at two. Well, they were smart not to challenge him with a fastball, but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason, so he waited, stayed back, and absolutely exploded through the zone on that one. Now battle. And that'll the bring up Joey play. Wendell. Joey. As he'll go after the first pitch Wendell. and bounce it into foul territory. 302 is the average coming in. Two home runs and 22 RBIs. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Two out, nobody on. And it's one and two. Hey, he got away with that one right there. If he's going to live up there, spinning it up top of the zone, he's going to get hurt. To two balls and two strikes now. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. Line toward right center. Hicks is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Rays get a couple as you take another look at the two-run home run. We've played two, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Back now at Tropicana Field, home of the Rays, who have benefited from some solid pitching all season long. Entering the day, they rank in the upper echelon of several pitching categories, and that doesn't go unnoticed around the clubhouse. One of the position players told me, our pitching staff has a calming influence on the entire team. We know they're going to keep us in games, and flat out, they just get the job done. And that helps everyone play more relaxed and confident. It appears this group of pitchers is a real cornerstone of this ball club, guys. Okay, thank you, honey. The white fielder, number 99. Ready to deliver. Eric. Here's the first pitch. Yeah. Swing and a liner. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Hey, there's a base hit to lead off the third inning. Talk about having yeah, a lot of traffic, people. Well, he's given up several hits Don't already, so uh, he's been in the stretch Damn. most of the game. Yeah, no doubt about that, Dan. That is the name of the game for this offense. They're trying to get this guy in the stretch. Hopefully he misses over the heart of the plate like he's been doing so far up until this point. Hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0-2 now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a swing and a miss and Stanton is down on strikes for round number one. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Now Spotted that, it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. Labor. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Hit hard to third. He's got it. Oh, way to get dirty. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. Leading off for the red. The center fielder, Kevin. First pitch coming, here it is. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Can't catch up to that pitch, and it's a ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. 
Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Bounce towards the second baseman. And there's one down now. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. Here's the first pitch to him. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. Swing and a liner. Foul. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just fielder. been completely oh, lost dear. at the plate. Flailing all Meadow. over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They really got him figured out. Into the box. Austin Meadows. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Belted high and deep into right center. Hicks going back, but he can't get there. This splits the outfielders and heads toward the wall. And he'll get in there safely. In most parts of the league, that would be a round tripper. I mean, right he gets this thing probably I'm more than 400 you. feet, but he'll have to be Garcia. content with a triple. Has to feel good about the way he hit it, though. So here is Abisayo Garcia as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Good curveball, strike two. Love that pitch right there, and he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then just bends onto the inside corner. A lot of hitters have a tendency. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. No damage done after the two-out triple. More of the show, Saturday Baseball, after this. Striding in once again, Gary Sanchez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Low and away as he misses again, 2-0. and oh. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3-1. and one. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 and turned to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Into the box, Didi Gregorius. He singled his last time up. First offering on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, 1-0. One just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. This is a spot right here playing first base. You have to really be on your toes. With a runner on first, a left-handed hitter up on a 2-0 count, there's a pretty good chance if he hits this, he's going to hit it hard down that first baseline. So if you're the first baseman right now, be on your toes and be ready for a bullet. Still even at 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Fouled away. 2-2 one more time. Hard liner to center field. Kiermaier has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Now batting. The first baseman, Justin Smoke. So one gun in the inning here with the runner at first. And in next, the switch hitting power bat of Justin Smoke. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Hey, I'm a little shocked right there. Double play situation. He doesn't go with the sinker. He goes with the ordinary fastball in that situation. Behind 0-2 now. High in the air down the right field line. Garcia is over and he puts it away in foul ground for the second out. 
So a runner at first with two away. And that'll bring up the switch hitter Aaron Hicks. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And it's fouled away. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. The short hit hard. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth, all even at two apiece. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading Digging off, in, G-Man Choi. He's set the to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Choi. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. In on the hands a bit with the fastball. It's 1-0. Oh. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Looking up is Hicks. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Number 11 for him on the season. And that pushes the Rays out on top here. Three to two. You know, as a pitcher, there's nothing worse than getting taken deep. But it's something every pitcher has to deal with. Even the best pitchers give up home runs. You just have to refocus and go after the next hitter. Into the box now, Daniel Robertson. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Strike taken. Good bender on the outside there. This one's down to third. Endahar brings it in. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now stepping in, Brandon Lowe comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Three runs, five hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Hicks. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now battle. Sliding into the box, Mike, Mike Sanino. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. That last at bat, that showed me something. It's not that easy to hit a changeup over 400 plus feet out of the ballpark. So this guy gets some good extension, strong wrist, and this guy's got some terrific bat speed. Strike two. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. One for the Rays on the solo home run. We played four. It's now three to two Tampa. Now to the plate, DJ LeMayhew. He'll lead things off here in this one run pitch. contest. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Pitch is popped up. Choi is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Now got it. Here's Miguel Andujar yeah. now. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch on its way. In there, no balls and a strike. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. 
This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone. And when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. So a line drive single to center makes it two hits for him this afternoon. And there you see the Yankees leaderboard as he finds himself second in that category. So a runner on first with one out now. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. Hit hard to short. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Down in order go the Yankees. They're down 3-2. to two. Digging in once again, Joey Wendell. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And a fastball not close. It's 2-1 now. He pulls this one into right. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hit streak going. You know what? And this Look, could be this could lead him on to some, some bigger and better things right here. here he's been God. swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. I got a ball, one strike. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Judges under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Striding forward now is the now DH. The Tommy Pham has gone down on strikes Tommy. twice already in this one. And Dan, yeah. when you know you have a chance to hand someone a hat trick for the game, is there any extra motivation to punch him out again? Hey, there's no doubt about that, man. When you have a good hitter like this and you've punched him out twice already, you just want to continue to go out there and make good pitches and see if you can't dominate him for a third time. The 1 0 home gets him to chase a ball out of the zone for the first strike. Case in point right there, Matty. We're seeing a trend the north and south. A lot of pitchers working that elevated fastball and then breaking stuff off in the dirt. We used to see east west, not the case anymore. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Hey, they say in this game you better have a short memory. Right. Well, that's obviously Don't the case fielder. with this batter. He oh, came into dear. that third at bat after getting his ticket punched twice and was able to get a single. Standing in now, Austin Meadows, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. This is what every pitcher likes to have. Another 0-2 count really puts the hitters on a defensive side in multiple ways. You can go fastball up. You can go breaking ball down. One of the keys getting ahead, and he's done a very good job of that so far. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Wendell over at second. Pham at first, one gone. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. Pretty textbook breaking ball now for the punch out right there. The white got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch.
in now, Avisail Garcia, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. This one's flared off to the right side. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third. And that means the bases are loaded now with two away. How about it? Boy, this is the a big inning crew. And how about back to back to back, to back singles? The bags are loaded. And he is in deep trouble. Yes, he is. No doubt about it. Nothing fires you up more than knocking the donut off your bat on the on-deck circle and realizing all the pillows are taken right now. Major traffic. you got to stay within yourself. Not I try and do too much and get a pitch in your zone. Chad Green answers the call to now pitch here in a big spot. Yours. He inherits a Number bases loaded jam, but needs Chad just one out to get Green. out of it. Stepping in now, G-Man Choi, as he'll take a look at ball one. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And he misses low with it, 2-0. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on 2-0 and oh, and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. The 2-0. and oh. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Stanton has a read on it. He's got it. And that'll get him out of the jam. Rays leave him loaded. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. The left fielder, Giancarlo Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. Boy, this is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like this. 2-0 count. We'll see right here if he lays one in there to give him a pitch to swing at. And he finally gets this one over for strike one. One strike. Left center, base hit. Boy, d -Row, there's a case of the outfield defense playing that so deep that that different. ball looked like it was Labor. extra bases all the way, Forward. but they were able to cut it off. Yeah, not too many times I would agree. I, I, I'd i love to hear your take on this as well. The no doubles defense, I, I, I kind of never understood it to begin with. I felt like the pitcher, if he can execute the game plan to keep the ball in front of the outfielders, but right there, boy, I was wrong. That worked. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. Now a foul tip right into the catcher's glove as he's able to hang on for the first down. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there. Yeah, the Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Stanton, base runner at first with one out. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Not a surprise to see that low splitter there. Anything with downward movement like that is going to be at the top of the list in a double play situation. On the ground is short. This could be two. The second for one. On to first, and they turn another one. Their fourth of the afternoon, and the inning is over. One hits all they get. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine. Due up in the home half. It's the Rays three, and the Yankees two. Leading off for the Rays. Into the box now, the Daniel base. Robertson. He'll lead it go. off as we start the home six. First 
first pitch coming. Here it is. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Nope. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. A ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that Number pitch. Eight. It hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Standing in now, Brandon Lowe. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. No hits to this point. Ball and a strike. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And it's gone as they add still another. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number nine on the year. And the Razor stake to a four to two lead. Well, we've now seen four homers combined between these two clubs today. What are your thoughts, guys? Matty V, this is just one of those days where the ball seems to be fine, Dero. The hitter's on point, the pitchers aren't making very good pitches. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's all about executing pitches, and they're not doing it today. They're leaving a lot of balls over the heart of the plate. This offense is both offenses. They're taking advantage. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Nope. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. And the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, he battled to get it to a 3 2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. So a runner at first now with one away. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. And he'll try to hold up on the pitch inside, but to no avail, and that's the first strike. The 1 1 home is looked at off the plate for a ball. to two and two now. Hey, if this guy's able to execute that two-seamer down and away consistently, he's going to get a lot of swing and misses. He's going to get a lot of weak contact. He might even get a few knots on some people's shins. Just missed with the two-two count, and it runs full now. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways.
And he misses again here. It's ball four. And that's back-to-back -back walks back. here with one away. Well, it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind. He had him three and two, but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit. So we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him. He's set. Here it comes. Good fastball down around the knees there, oh, taken for a strike. His career numbers against this pitcher, he's hitless in six tries. Comes set, and the 0-1 is taken for ball one. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a... One one home he is in there for the second strike. Zanino on second. Wendell is over at first with one away. This is pulled into right. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Now batting, the dedicated hitter, Tommy Fair. So two outs now in the Tampa Bay sixth. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Four runs, nine hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So a three-run shot to left center. 19th home run for him on the season. And the lead is now 7-2. to two. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. And now, Austin Meadows. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. So far, two for three in this one. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Well, this inning pretty much has been one to forget for him, but he's still out there. And it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done, though. The 1-1 home. Line towards center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So that knock keeps the bottom of the sixth inning hot. Yeah, that hard hit now single batting. right there. Mike That's Gilbert. clean. Three for four. He's looking locked in. Garcia. Into the box now. Avisail Garcia in the dirt here. And no advance. It's ball one. One one home is taken for nope, ball two. two. Got to believe the manager didn't have this in mind when he went to the bullpen. This reliever's got to step up right here. It's starting to tickle a little bit after getting hit around early. 
Now the 2 1 pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Judges under it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. Seventh inning coming up. It's the. Back here at Tropicana Field in St. Pete. We're in the seventh with the Rays out in front, and let's get you caught up with our game summary for the first six innings. Diego Castillo is on to pitch now, from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 63. Diego. Diego. Here's Didi Gregorius. A hit in two Didi tries so far. It doesn't the look very ball. promising so Didi. far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through into right. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. Hey, not an easy thing to do right there, d -Row, with that stacked now infield bad. on the right the side. Eight. You hit it through where the shift Just is. Eight. Have to hit that Move. in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he found a good result right there, Dan. Pitcher actually executed right there. Got him to hit it where he wanted to. Put good barrel, good contact on that ball and was able to find the hole. Justin Smoke is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1-0. A ball and a strike. Sometimes you can get away with a pitch in that location when you're running it up there that hard, but not consistently. You still have to work the edges of the zone most of the time. Boy, d -World, when you're starting to swing it like this team, this doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitcher, right? When he gets greedy with back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do in today's day and age of bullpen down your throat. You very rarely see back-to-back -back knocks when these guys are throwing smoke. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, they're being taught to throw strikes early, and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes, and they're jumping all over him. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. The one-two fouled off. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. D.J. LeMayhew, he's two for three and looking for more here. First pitch is a slider down low. It's 1-0. and oh. Gregorius at second. Smoke at first. One gone. And a strike to even the count. One and one. One and two to D.J. LeMayhew. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A uh, flip of his glove for one. On the first, it's a double play. And another crisis is averted here as the inning is over. Yanks lead one. They're down five. It's seven to two. Ladies David Phelps gets the call from the pen to take over on now the mound and start the home seven. Number 35, David Phelps. Ready now, G-Man Choi. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The first baseman, G-Man Choi. First pitch on its way. And a ball, 1-0. Pulled toward right center field. Hicks on the move. He's there and records the first out. So stepping in, now Daniel batting. Robertson. Third He's base. working on a one for Get three going. thus far. Robertson. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball too high to start him out here. One and zero. Phelps. A right-hander standing six foot three. He was taken in the 14th round during the 2008 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Line, but speared on a hop. Over to Smoke at first, and there are two away. 
Digging in and looking for more, Brandon Lowe. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Ball one to start the at bat. Swing and a miss for strike one. A ball and two strikes to the Ray shortstop. Shoots this one over to first. To his right, Smoke. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Rays. They're on top seven to two. Now at the plate, Miguel Andujar. Two hits in three at bats for him in this one. The first pitch of the at bat. Andujar. Liner towards second, but this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. Here's Big Aaron Judge. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Strike taken up in the zone. Both teams right now with 11 hits in the ball game. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. So here's the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. The windup and the 0-1. Oh. And he lays off for ball one. That's and they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. The 2-1. Two swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Two out, nobody on. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're down five. It's seven to two. Zach Britton is on to pitch out now of the bullpen in the game bottom game. half of the eighth. Number 53, Zach Britton. Into the box now, Mike Zanino comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. 0-2 oh, count, here's the pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. Now so a good job the there of baseman. exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box, Joey Wendell. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. Britton has made a name for himself as a very effective reliever in his career, but he really doesn't fit the bill as a prototypical bullpen arm. So many guys bringing huge strikeout numbers these days. He isn't one of them. No, he's not, Matty V, but what he does do, he does a great job of missing barrels of the bats. He changes speeds, 
moves the ball in, out, up, and down. Not overpowering, but he knows how to pitch. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. The one two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And we're going to have a quick stoppage here as a beach ball has made its way into right field. He'll try again, one, two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The one, two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. No problems for him on the mound since now he's back. come out of the pen to start this field. inning. That's back to back K's, and he's making Here, it look Maya. pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So, digging in now, Kevin Kiermeyer hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. A ball of no strikes. Bouncer to the left side. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Yeah, nobody on right there, Dan. Down Two back. outs. The it's not every day you see a guy pick Tommy. him up and put him down like him getting down to first base yeah. right there. Bought himself a base hit. Well, I tell you what, if you there's a couple of things you can do. It doesn't take a lot of talent to hustle, and doesn't take talent to be on time. And he hustled out of the box, turned what could have been a glad, a ground out to end the inning into an infield single. Standing in now, Tommy Pham. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Britain pauses for one pitch on its way. Pitch outside the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. More from the show, Saturday Baseball, following this message and a word from our local stations. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. In there, and it's even at one. One ball, one strike. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So a solo shot down the line in left. Home run number 15 for him thus far, as it's now a 7-3 game. We've seen these squads go yards six times now today. This game has developed into an absolute slugfest, huh, guys? Dan, they're absolutely knocking the cover off the ball. Now better. The catcher, Gary. Sanchez. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. Out in front of it, strike one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d -Row, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, d -Row, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. So it was a swinging strike three. Gary Sanchez becomes the first out in the ninth mm. inning. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. So far, two for three in this one. A ball and a strike. One and one. 
swing and a hot shot toward third. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. Now and this might be the kind of A.B. that gets him out of that slump. Smart hitting here. Just going with the pitch, using the whole field instead of trying to do too much. The results speak for themselves. In there, and it's 0-1. So far this season, Smoke begins play with a slugging percentage north of 525. Certainly a line he can take pride in. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Swing and a liner. A quick love at third, and there are two gone. Stepping up now, Aaron Hicks. And he needs. pitch of the at bat nope. and that misses ball one you know in this situation you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base that run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got the hitter is the guy that and the first will be in time and the wave are back in the win column again they take game three of the series and the ball game is over wow a nine out save that's three full innings you don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a guy in the back of your bullpen that can pitch that kind of work. And this afternoon's game ends 7-3. to three. The Rays took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Yanni Chirinos earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Diego Castillo takes the rare three-inning save, his sixth. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching ML be the show. For more, make your way over to the shownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Rays: seven runs on 12 hits, no errors. They left eight men on base.